Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Today, I'm going to try to tackle the front post and the front door. Uh, it does not fit whatsoever. The angle, if you can see the angle here, down to there, that's not going to work. Uh, we would never want that. Basically, you can see how that angle is about, about like that, not like that. That's not going to work like that. Now, um, it's going to be trying because I have no idea. I've never done this before on this post. I've, you know, cut posts before, but I got a quite an angle going in there, which I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, and I'll deal with it right in front of your very eyes. But first, we'll go to the back. We'll show you how the back turned out. Just kind of got it welded up. Uh, took the flapper wheel and tried to grind off just the weld and feathered it off to the metal a little bit. So now we can see what incisions have been made uh, to make the back work. Uh, to me, for me, the back has worked out fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna put a little, probably a little blue paint on um, where, the, where the weld marks are, put a little blue paint on there, maybe, we'll see. And uh, that would be good enough. I don't even think I have to put any filler on it. Uh, it's not needed, I don't think. Uh, the rest of the car doesn't really have any filler on it, so I don't think I need to do that. But uh, the back has worked out fantastic. Now I gotta tackle the front. Uh, if you remember, I tacked the doors shut on the front and the back just to try to keep everything in place. On the window, I have the window, uh, the window is back here and it's not going to line up uh, with this, this, this here. So it's really kind of throwing me for a loop. I've got about that much distance. Uh, this is lined up in the center. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, is, or what I think I'm going to do is, this is what I think I'm going to do. No, this is what I am going to do. I'm going to tie this door top to this door, and I'm going to knock off the little tiny spot welds that I have, and I'm going to flop the door open. Once I flop the door open, then I'm going to mess with this post here and try to get it fitting in there to make it look like it could work. Um, what I'm thinking is this lip that holds the window I took a pair of vice grips and, and just bent it out a little bit here right at the edge. That can be manipulated to angle out. This one can be manipulated to angle in. It doesn't, you know, they both can be manipulated to go where they need to go. But what, let's, let's get this post going here. This post is really, really angled down tight to this. Um, this is kind of angled out here, like probably that far, obviously. We got that going on there. We've got a short distance in between, so we need to get it straight. And making it make it look right out. I don't want to make it look like it's been uh, messed with a whole lot. But let's get the top of the door added together. Grab a piece of metal. I've got a couple pieces of metal here. I can add the door top together. I can weld that like that. I think I'll keep that piece of metal. I got a piece of square stock here. I can put in there. See if I can put that in there. I just want to add the make the door go together. So when I put the door, now I can do that. I just want to put the door top, I'll weld that on there like that, and then maybe weld the square stock to the door down here so I can open the door up and it'll stay in place. That's what I'm going to do. So let's knock a piece of metal on there. Let's get geared up here first, get my gloves on. Not, not sure what's going on here yet, so uh, it's going to be touch and go. Let's see what happens. Looking to keep on, what can I say, looking to keep the most blue paint I can keep. So I'm just tacking this door top on to get the door to stay together. Obviously this door is holding out here. I want to hold it in and just short so I can open the door, untack it. That's basically what I'm doing right this present second. If I don't explain anything very well, it's because I don't know what's going on at the present second. I'll explain it as I get going, I guess. But I, w I do want the door top connected uh, before I open the door. one thing I do know for sure. I want the door top connected 
before I open the door. I can always cut, I cut this piece back off, obviously. Now, I'm just gonna tack it once. Tack it once and I can move it. Hit it twice and it's, it's where it's gonna be. So I'm saying I'm just gonna tack it there for now. Done. Looks good. So, got the door top where it needs to be for now. Got the door top where it needs to be for now. Just kind of setting there. Shut the welder back off. Let's let's knock the door open. I'm hoping that the door works. Uh, do not know if the door works yet or not. We've got just the post. We just got the top of the doors nailed on. Uh, the post might be, it is tacked on the inside, just tacked. I've got one spot weld there. I put a spot, a little spot there. I've got this spot together here with a little piece of metal. I'm gonna knock that off. And I got a little spot down there. So I'm just gonna take my uh, time and cut them off nice so nothing happens. And, and also, um, when it comes to this roof chop, uh, I'm not sure how most people do it, but I'm thinking that most times they cut, uh, a lot of people are cutting the roof in half and pulling the back to fit, and then they're cutting the front and pulling this ahead to fit. Uh, I am trying it to do it without cutting the roof in half at all. Uh, I'm trying to make it less work and easier. Uh, when it comes to this point right here, I'm not sure if it's easier or not because I have not completed it yet, but I'm hoping that it is easier than cutting the roof in half. Uh, I didn't want to cut the roof in half because I don't want to put a piece of metal in the roof um, and then try to make it look like the rest of it. If I can do a little bit of work to the post to make it look right, I, I'm much, much, much happier. Where I've got this looking like this in the back, I'm m more than happy with that. That, that turned out fantastic. Um, I'm thinking that that would be uh, the way I would do every four-door chop that has a back like that. Um, but it, when it comes to the front post, we're going to have to see. Um, basically, what I'm thinking is a lot, you know, obviously, I could slice it across there, put in probably two-inch piece, whatever the distance is there, probably inch and a half, two-inch piece. I could pull that ahead and drop that piece right in there. No problem whatsoever. But I do not, like I said, I do not want to cut that all in half and then add that piece all the way across. You could add a piece all inside here, all underneath here. You could add a piece to the door. I just want to put the post in, put that post in for the door and have it work. So I'm basically um, trying to make it easier, but yet I don't know what's going on yet. Oh, door opens. And the door shuts. Beautiful. Awesome. Good. And actually, where I tacked it in here at the bottom, I, I tacked it so it fit good. And I tacked it so the, it fit good down there. I just pushed it in a little bit. Now that I've done that, that door actually fits better than it did before. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Got sort of a weird angle going on there, but that's fine. Let's open that up. Yeah, it fits. Good. Awesome. I'm not sure what's going on here. Did I have that one untacked? Nope. <laughs> okay, I still got it tacked right there. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't know how that opened that fire. I must have 
tweak that a little bit. That's fine. Alrighty. Open this back up. Alrighty. Now, I'm into this post area. This is the piece I have. And it does not work. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I've got, I've got quite a bit of post there. I'm going to cut that whole post right out, I'm thinking. I'm going to take and cut that off and cut the, get rid of that and see how far down I can get that pit in there. Wow. Just, just kind of making me, wow. Um, just wow. I'm kind of lost, to be honest with you. I'm kind of lost. You can see it on the other side, how we've got an angle on down here on the dash. I'm kind of lost. I could dissect this bad boy. And what I mean by dissect it is cut this out, cut it off in here and get this piece going in there. All right, I'm gonna get the reciprocator saw and I'm gonna cut that off. Basically, I don't wanna cut off or chew it up too much. I want it to, go to get it to go back half decent. And what I mean to get it go back half decent is I want, what do I want? I want not to hack it up and to have a bunch of different little pieces to put it back together. I'd like to put it back together like I did on the back, but uh, let's face it, we got a, quite a different thing going on here. I might even have to make the post all on its own. I can cut it off and cord it with the dash. Um, this this line right here, see this is the window line here that's and it's shooting up here. Uh, for me to get that turned back to go to there, I don't that's not to me that's not going to work. I'm gonna take a metal mark first. This inner piece here? Joins, give me an idea. Cut the inner piece out. Front door still works. Yay! This one's kicked out a little bit, I see, for some reason. Might have to tweak that a little bit. Not sure. I've got it pushed in at the bottom. I made the bottom fit really good. I'm just kind of just looking at it. Um, what, I'm, what I'm actually thinking is, if you come here and take a look, I've got this. I got this lip, and I got this right here. This piece right here, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up making my new lip for my window on this piece. I'm going to probably end up cutting this off all along here, welding that down there and making a new lip back here is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. But, uh, wow, well, just kind of, I'm kind of lost, to be honest with you, kind of lost. I'm lost. This this fits at the top. There's no sense in me cutting that top piece. This this top piece piece is cut off. That I'm just wondering if I can just cut the whole post out. Let's do that. All right, I've got a line here. We can put a piece of metal back down in there. That's for sure. So if I cut that like that, if you come take a look, if I cut that with that line there, that should fit in there. I'm gonna cut that line there. Let's try to make this post fit in there. That's so why I just put it up there like that. I mine it and I'll have to make something here to, to make it fit again. There's gonna have to be something, some fabrication going on obviously Alrighty. 
The only way to know is to cut it out. It's the only way to know. So I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to use the zip cut. Don't want to hack it up too much, not really. wire of some sort shove that back down in there all right we've got the dash is welded in this car I'm not going to throw that away going to keep that piece the dash is welded in this car which is a is a fantastic thing because I can just weld a new lip on there Ooh, look at that not bad to cut I can put that piece back in I'm gonna slate I got a piece here right with the dash I'm gonna cut it right along with the dash uh, so I can get that piece out and I can put a new piece in. so if you want to take a look, I've just I've did not cut the dash. I've just cut the piece went to the dash. So when I stick, huh, getting closer. Huh, Likey, see a little bit coming out of here. Get my line back. Gonna cut a little bit more off of this. Just want that to fit in there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a little bit. I'm going to cut some. I'm going to cut some off this because this piece is not going to be needed because uh, the lip's going to be way up here. I'm going to have when I bring that lip down around, it's going to come inside here. So this little tab I have on this piece here, I might as well cut this off as to as to as to cut more off that. So we'll cut a little bit off that. so close just kind of we're so close oh look at that now would you all righty come take a look so we're getting very close 
we're getting very close and that's not bad for that to go back in there and weld like that i can put a little piece in there that's no problem we've got a piece on that so i'm going to knock it down just a little bit more a little at a time I want the best fit I can get just a little at a time obviously just prying up on the roof a little bit not bad not bad I'm gonna take another saw mark out of it I'm gonna take another saw mark out of it along there just a saw mark and Maybe a saw mark down there. in there. Ooh, that, that feels good. Okay, go that now, would you? Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to stand back and take a look at it for a second. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, if we take a look at this, if you want to come take a look, sweetheart, you can see I got the I got the lip matching up here. That lip right there is going to match up just with that with that piece on the dash right there. You can see how that's going to come. Up. You might want to go from the other side. Maybe I'm not sure. Not. But that lip that's on that window looks like it's going to match up with a nice lip down here. So I'll probably end up. You can see how this dash is coming up and then folding up, and then this piece goes up and, and spot welds together to make the lip for the window. Uh, I'll probably end up coming along and cutting that all off, and then welding this piece to the top of that piece, and then making a new lip. Sounds, sounds about right. That line, that's lined up perfect with that because that was cut off with that. We've got a little bit of a different angle going on. That's fine. Now, you can see that that door is going to hit uh, in there. So that section of that door is going to have to be cut out. We've got another section of the, the door. We're probably going to have to do the exact same thing with the door top as we done with that. And that's okay because we have both pieces. Um, we're not junking it up yet. That's for sure. Not junking it up yet. We also have uh, the piece of metal. Uh, once this is welded along here and welded along here, we have that piece of metal to bring that up there. We have that piece because we have right there. We can just bring it right over to this piece. Just kind of wondering if I... This angle here... Uh, does not bother me that much. There's some gap going in there, uh, but that does not bother me with that. I get that's like, does not bother me. It doesn't look that bad. That's what you'd have. You can see the distance underneath that. That's what you'd have underneath there. I can fill that in with weld, basically. Looks good. That line, you know, that's not too bad. There's only a little bit of a gap going on there. Actually, I could actually hammer that out a little bit before I weld that on there, probably no doubt. <clears throat> just looking at it, just looking at it, come look at the front. It's feeding right around with the line where it was before, just that the line's going to have to step back on that piece. I'm going to end up, 
I'm going to tack it in there. I'm going to tack it in there. And the reason being is I, I can't see it getting any better. That just moved a little tiny bit, if any at all. Weld that in there like that. I'm thinking that all right I'm gonna take the flapper wheel just knock a little bit off give me some gap and I'm gonna weld that in there And it's hard for me to uh, explain exactly what I'm doing <laughs> when I really don't know I'm going with the flow. I'm going with uh, what I'm, you know, I'm, I chose to cut that piece out and go with this piece because I was not going to match this piece up with the piece that was coming out of there. And besides that, it has a bunch of different angles going up that way. So I, what I figured if I cut it all out and put that piece in, then, then I got a good start of having a good post. And then I'm just going to have to manipulate, or manipulate, but uh, make this go to this. I have a little piece in there on the post that went up there. I'll cut that and put it back on there, maybe run it around here to finish that off to make it look right. But I'm going with the flaw. Knocking off a little bit of paint, obviously, so I can... That's what that is, interior light. Is that wire was the interior light? That's what that was. That's what that is. Now, on the inside, there's not much paint on the inside, so I don't think I have to worry about that much. That's lead, uh, so I'm going to have to bring it back a little further. How did I know I was going to get into that? How did I know? Pull this off, piece of molding, don't want that. I'm going to pull it off this tuft up here too. And the reason being is, I don't need it, I don't need it. I'm going to get a screwdriver, just that there's a rubber, there's a rubber trim molding there. I'm going to get that off. Uh, the reason being is I don't need it and I don't want it. And it'll stop me from doing a good, doing a good well job. Let's see if I can get that off. Here we 
we go. I'm not sure how that obvious on there with a screw of some sort, but a rivet in behind the the rubber. I'll take the, see it's got a little a little rivet in behind the rubber, so I have to peel all the rubber off and then knock the rivet off. That's fine. I got a little lead going on there. Lots of lead going on there, so it's going to be hard to weld. I'll take this stuff off after we get the post done. Clean some lead off. Back up. Let's tack that bad boy in there. Let's tack that bad boy in there. Nope. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something first. I've got a little piece going on here that's welded on to, on the on the dash. There's a little piece that's welded on the dash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buff that off now with the flapper wheel get it down flush with the dash so it looks nice and then when it comes time for me to do something um, I'll have a nice start and I'll have a nice start <laughs> Just have a nice place to start and put a new piece of metal in there. They've got a piece welded to the dash there. And uh, I'm going to put something in there. When I put this post in there, I'm going to want to put a new piece in there. Then I'll have a new start to put it on there instead of having it haggled and jaggled. Haggled and jaggled. Alrighty. I'm going to tack that in. Now, all this lip that goes around the window, I'm, I'm thinking that I can, obviously, I know I can manipulate it. I put a pair of pliers on it and bend it. As long as it's, it's flat enough or straight enough that I can put that rubber and get that window back in. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm going to tack it in there. I'm going to tack it in there. And that way there, if anything's wrong, I can pull it back out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it in one spot and then I can maneuver it.
it's still movable obviously you just got one spot on it there's where I'm going with it did not clean that off but What I'm looking for is this this little this little lip right here is pointing right along the lip. I want to put the new lip on going in the window. bed tack it on here when it welds funny that's the lead falling out of it did not clean it there that well at all a bit of weld on it we're lined up good inside if you want to come take a look show you what I can show you we're lined up good inside here that's got a nice got it's lined up good there did not grind that off got quite a gap going on there so I'm going to end up you know what I'm going to end up doing it's called the old coat hanger trick see if I can get some actually I'm going to grab a coat hanger Throw it on the floor. Ba, 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 ba. There it is there. Alrighty. A little coat hanger in this. Taking a look at my line. Not looking bad. Get in here. Good. Now, where that's like that, it had a nice little body line going on there. I'm not sure what's happening there yet. Can't shut the door right at the present moment because it does not fit there. I'm going to. Get a pair of ice grips. Did I have a pair over there, did I, Speedy Path? What's that? weld a little bit on that corner I want to get this piece of metal on the top here it's it's in a little bit I'd like to get it out a little bit and I can shove a screwdriver up there and hit that it's just I want to weld a little bit more on the corner well no I think we're fine I'm gonna put these on there just hold it more so I'm gonna go up it I'm gonna get inside there with a screwdriver I'm gonna try to push this piece out a little bit so it's a little bit nicer Screwdriver, right? I had a screwdriver tearing that off. I dropped it on the floor, did I? It's right there in front of my eyes. Every piece of the car that I've cut off, I've left it inside. So. To shove that screwdriver in there. I forgot my hammer. See my hammer there anywhere? 
What's that? Thank you, sweetheart. She's amazing, boy. She's amazing. So basically, I just want to get that out there a little bit. I can see it in here. No, nope, that's not going to be thin enough. Get up in there. Bring it out some. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to close a little bit more. You can always hammer it back in. Just want it out a little ways. Getting there. Bring it out a little bit further. Just so when I grind it off, it looks good. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Here we take a look at it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now when I grind that off, I can pretty probably grind it off near a flush. It's lit. See it. Even. Might as well wipe it out. I'm gonna use it. Just burn it out with the welder. Good. Take and hammer this up in here. Just wanted to look right for our welder, that's all. Don't look bad. Put a gap going on there, but. You know how I do it. Add some weld to the top. Bring it together. You can be sure there's penetration <laughs> with a gap like that. Get it knocked together and then I can clean it up after. Once I get it knocked together, then, it, then it's cleaning it up with a grinder.
I'd melt that weld off, but I want it stuck there so I can get it to come together. You can cut and put a piece in that if you want to. I just kind of, what can I say? Come to this situation a lot and uh, just kind of has come to the situation a lot, you know, with big gaps. And I just kind of overcome it with the coat hanger and I've never looked backwards. That it all can be ground off so it looks nice. I'm building it up, you know, fairly heavy, but let's face it. Now, we know that we've got penetration on that. That's really gonna hold nice. I'm gonna be able to grind it off nice. I've got lots of weld going on there. I've got that on there. I'm gonna touch it here. Get a little bit of warmth going in there. All this lip that's on the side or wherever, all the lip is can be manipulated wherever it needs to go. I'm actually going to weld that right there. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as Jolene, but beautiful. kind of bringing that lip together so I can weld it together. I'm welding this up uh, without air is because I can. This construction here is not going to warp up all of me because it's in all so many different bends. I got a bend here and a bend there and a bend there and a bend there. I'm basically just trying to weld it up, get it in there, and then I can start connecting metal to it. And I'm happy with what's going on. I'm happy with that. We've got lead there, so we might put something back there to flatten that out a little bit. No doubt in my mind. Maybe. We'll see. And we have more lead there. I might as well scoop that off while I get a grinder right here. I'll leave that for a minute. Put 
a little weld there for a minute. Does it matter if it looks the prettiest? Not really. Not really. Now, I'd like to shut the door, see how that line goes, but that line can be made after. Well, finish welding this up. Alrighty, we're welded all the way across there, weld across there, across there, we get that done. We need a little bit of welding going across there. We gotta dig that rubber, dig that molding out of there first. Not sure what I'm doing with this yet. Um, what I'm thinking is when I shut the door, I've cut that line of there. What I'll do is I'll weld that. I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do once to come with this line again. I'm thinking we're down below that, we cut it off. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you when I do it actually, why not? Just kind of beating on the roof there to say what. Now, this is all going to have to be cut down. This is going to have to come over to this. See what happens. We got quite a something going on there. We're going to have to make a piece from this piece to go over to this piece and then fill that in a little bit, obviously which will hold that post in there nice and tight. Instead of just butt welding it on like the top's butt welded on, this, at least this one here will have something wrapped around it so it cannot come off or is better. We got a good piece going on inside there. I'll weld in here a little bit. Beautiful. Alrighty gonna feel this post up here. I'm gonna weld a little more on the post here, put a little coat hanger in it. We'll grind that off, make it look nice. We'll make it look nicer. Alrighty. For a second. Now what I've done there to this side, I'm going to have to do the exact same thing to the other side. I've got a new line going on there. It looks good. Now the door's not going to be able to shut right now because it does not agree with this piece right here. This, this door car is going to have to come off. We're going to have to manipulate this piece here. You can see how it's going to hit on there now. And I'll make a new line with the welder. I'll put a bead of weld to match this one to go around there and, and make that line fit again. And we'll grind it off nice. Hmm. I'm going to tear the rest of that off. would be nice to get the rubber out of it but and tear it off but we'll do it a piece at a time Lead in there that I'm kind of 
splash in it. There's, it's all lead. That can be welded together down there. I'd like to shut the door, but just have to cut it, that's all. Hmm. Just gonna cut the door for a second. Not gonna hurt it none. There's no glass in that door. Okay, so we're hitting up front here a little bit. That's gonna have to be dug out, but it will go in there. Oh, <laughs> we're hitting, the square stock's hitting. Don't wanna twist the door up too much. That's not bad, I'll knock that down and make a little ring there, that's not bad. Now I have to cut the door and try to get that to fit with that. I can't see that being too much of a problem. Where are we at, time for time? We're an hour? Okay, I'm an hour into it. I've got the post basically where I wanna go. So when I put the post on the other side, I'm gonna lay it up there like I did on this side and trace the bottom of it, cut it off and get rid of it. I know I'm gonna get rid of that piece in there. It's right down to the dash, just get rid of it. Hope I got nothing going on down there. A little smoke going on. Um, so I'm going to do the exact same thing the other side. But basically what I'll try to do is I'll probably go with this side. Uh, I don't know as if I'll go any further because basically we want to show you exactly what's going on. Um, but you, I'll, I'll clean this up, maybe weld this up a little bit, make sure that's all welded across there, clean that up with a grinder, get this cleaned off. And then tomorrow you come back. I might put in the other side. I got a little smoke going. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, I might cut the other side and put this other post in because you've seen how I did that. That'll get me ahead a little bit, keep me working. But when you come back tomorrow, we'll fit the door top. We'll cut this piece here and get that door top put piece put in to fit with uh, this post here. And remember, I'm going to try to keep as much um, patina and much, you know, as I can um, without messing it up a whole bunch. I've got a little bit to do down here. Yes, I do. But... Uh, that's here and there. Alrighty, throw in a comment if you like, uh, share if you like, um, subscribe if you like. But basically what we're doing is we're trying to manipulate the post so it looks good and manipulate the door post so, or the door top so it looks good so it all comes together and be able to get a window in. As you can take a look, you can see I got a lot, a little modification to do here, which is fine. It's, it's just basic modification. I'm going to have to cut that off and bring that down and weld to the top of that and make a new lip on the inside here, which I don't think is a problem. But uh, you come back tomorrow and we'll show you what we're doing. All right, thanks very much for coming back. We appreciate it. Uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing, so it's hard for me to explain what I'm doing, but I have just put the post in, and that's what I did to put the post in. Have a great day, everybody. Come back tomorrow. We'll be here.